Great saints and elders of the Orthodox Church had the gift of spiritual discernment, but for the rest of us, we are encouraged to seek counsel. This helps prevent us from trusting in our own judgment too much and helps us stay aligned with God's will. We are ever aware of the demonic world around us, but we don't become obsessed with it. One spiritual danger is giving too much focus to demonic activity, which can strengthen its influence. When we face temptations or disturbing thoughts, the orthodox approach is to turn our attention back to Christ. St. Paisios teaches us to fight for Christ with our backs to the demons. Instead of directly confronting the demonic, we focus on Christ and let his light push away the darkness. Sometimes, people encounter random, disturbing thoughts, thoughts they've never had before. These can be demonic temptations. For instance, you might suddenly have a wild thought to do something harmful. In those moments, it's crucial not to dwell on the thought or give it power. I often teach what I call the holy shrug. Just recognize the thought, shrug it off, and return to Christ. The more we fixate on these thoughts, the more power we give them. But by immediately turning our mind back to prayer, we cut off their influence. In popular culture, possession often looks like something out of a Hollywood movie, with levitations and dramatic displays of demonic power. While these extreme cases can happen, they are rare. The demons prefer to work subtly, causing us to focus more on worldly pleasures and distractions than on the spiritual life. Saint Siloan the Athenite teaches that possession exists on different levels. It can manifest in small ways, such as hatred or bitterness taking root in our hearts, or in more extreme cases. However, the Orthodox Church takes this matter seriously, which is why every baptism begins with prayers of exorcism. During the Orthodox baptismal service, the very first thing that happens is an exorcism. The priest breathes on the candidate and recites three prayers of exorcism, restoring the nature of man. Saint Diodocus of Photiki explains that before baptism, demons influence from within. But after baptism, grace works within us and the demons are pushed outside. This is why after baptism, many people experience stronger spiritual attacks. The demons now fight from the outside, trying to reclaim the territory they once held within us. Although rare, there are cases of extreme possession where exorcisms are necessary. I've personally participated in exorcisms of places that were overcome by demonic energy, and the experience was utterly life-changing. One extreme case I witnessed was in a remote area where people had been reporting ghostly and demonic activity for years. After performing exorcism prayers in every building, the change was palpable. It was as if an otherworldly peace had descended upon the area and even animals returned, recognizing that the evil had been driven out. So, how do we open ourselves to demonic influence? In short, through sin. Every time we sin, we align ourselves more with the demonic and less with the angelic. This is why constant repentance and striving for holiness is so important. While overt acts like participating in occult practices, Ouija boards or seances, open doors to the demonic, so can seemingly harmless things like an obsession with horror movies or media that glorifies evil. Over time, these things can distort our hearts and desensitize us to the spiritual dangers around us. Even something as seemingly harmless as secular music or violent video games can have an impact on our spiritual life. We might not notice it immediately, but over time, these things leave an imprint on our hearts. Instead of cutting these things out cold turkey, I encourage a gradual approach. For example, reduce the time spent on secular media and replace it with prayer or spiritual reading. Over time, you'll notice a shift in what your heart desires. Above all, the most important thing to remember is that Christ has ultimate power over the demonic. While we must be vigilant and aware of spiritual dangers, we must not fear the demonic. By keeping our focus on Christ through prayer, fasting, and the sacraments, we can remain protected. The demons may try to distract us, but Christ is infinitely more powerful. When we stay close to him, the demonic cannot prevail. As Orthodox Christians, we are called to live in the peace and victory that Christ has already won for us. Thanks for watching! If you haven't already and want more Orthodox Christian content, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment below. We sure do appreciate all your support. Also, Make sure and share this with anyone who does not know the Lord or our faith.
May the Lord bless you and keep you and let his face shine upon you.